Welcome back to my channel loves. Today I'm going to be sharing a little what I eat in a week but it's a little bit different this time. So I'm going to be sharing more like fall themed dishes. Um, things that we're gonna be cooking up throughout the week. Um, so think more like cozy things, so warm dishes, soups, chilies, some pumpkin spice treats, you know, very seasonal. I love to cook with what's in season. Right now, I always start the vlog with, you know, a breakfast thing because I'm just thinking like, okay, what I eat in a week, maybe people wanna start from the top and then make, you know, its way to like lunch and dinner. But today, I am going to start with our dinner and I am whipping up some of my favorite chili. Now, I love to make it with turkey. Tonight, I am making it with beef. You can also do veggie. Um, I have the recipe, the full recipe, on my blog. So I'll link that in the description box below. You'll always get like the full recipes down there. You're just gonna see like snippets of me cooking things throughout the week, maybe some things that we got up to. Um, I know that we wanna do like a pumpkin farm and apple picking and some fun stuff. So we're gonna take you with us throughout the week, just what we get up to and some things that we eat. So I hope you enjoy this fall themed what I eat in a week video. So once you have everything in your pot mixed in there, you just let it simmer for like 40 minutes. Um, so this is the time that I like to um, pop the lid on and then I just go and clean up the mess behind me. So I'm gonna go and handle that and then like you can just like go put on a face mask, take a shower, catch up on a book or your emails or whatever you gotta do, but that thing is just gonna stay simmering for the next 40 minutes, and then it's gonna be so good. For toppings, I love a little Greek yogurt instead of sour cream, it's healthier, so I'm gonna take out one of these. I even just love buying them like this. We had these from when Neil got his wisdom teeth taken out, um, but we're gonna use the rest of them just for like little things like this. So um, when you just like take one out, it's a perfect amount for two people to put some Greek yogurt on top of their chili. Um, and then from a grocery store, I got these pre-made like cornbread jalapeno cheese breads. And these are so good for dipping. And then of course, we're gonna get some cheese and such. And this is the final bowl of chili. It looks so good, but it also smells amazing. I wish you guys could smell it. I would sprinkle on some green onions or some avocado or some jalapeno on here, but I don't have any extra. So I'm just doing a little cheese, uh, Greek yogurt, and some tortilla crisps. You can get these like in the salad aisle. They're like, little salad toppers it adds a nice touch i can't wait to dig into this it's so cozy and then you're gonna have nice leftovers for tomorrow for lunch i love dropping this off to like friends or family because we make so much and they love it so this is like one of my favorite fall dishes for sure so we came to downey's farm um it's in caledon ontario did a little drive up here to uh do a little apple picking pumpkin picking, you know, donut buying. They have like a little market where they sell fresh cinnamon donuts, so we wanna go check that out. But we're going to just kind of take a look around the grounds here. They have strawberries and apples. The apples are so perfect, so we're gonna go in and we're gonna go pick some apples now. All right, we're gonna do some apple picking now. So yeah. um, this is really cute. So they have like a sign of like all the different apples that you can pick from. Then they have like ones that are finished that are ready so you just go into the trees and you pluck them out yourself how cute is this he doesn't go for the low-hanging fruit no we he go goes for to the, the top high. let's go for the high <laughs> so now that we're socially 
distance, we're out wearing masks. Yes, we're, out we're and outside. Out. But uh, yeah, this is beautiful. It's like a nice breezy day. It like, feels like fall. It's gorgeous. Yeah, great. There's ladders. They're smart. They got us ladders. They're always ladders. They're always ladders, but we didn't see them. We have to, you have to walk quite in. I love eating apples. I am a royal gala kind of gal. What kind of a, we're, we're, we're having Macintosh, Macintosh right now because. Yeah. Gala's on that side. Yeah, there was a lot of people in there, so yeah. we just avoided it. We just went for a little Macintosh, you know? We're gonna, we're gonna but, make some bag up though. Yeah. pumpkins out here so we're gonna take a quick snap and then we're gonna go in and get some donuts this is what we came for this friends we, came. <laughs> we drove just Maybe for apple pie? pumpkin donuts Ooh, those pies do look good like an apple they have a cute pie. little market caramel apple pie oh pie. you're Ooh. losing your mind <laughs> You got the goods? Got the goods. <laughs> Let's, go. Let's go. Let's go and enjoy them now. Okay, so we went apple picking the other day and we got so many apples and I was like, what am I gonna do with all these apples? So um, I'm going to bake some apple turnovers tonight. My mom made them and they were so good. So she gave me the recipe. Um, I'll link it down below as well. So I'm gonna give it a go. I have never made this before in my life. So wish me luck. So I am using a pre-bought uh, puff pastry. So I'm just going to let it Thaw out, do the apple filling, and then I will film a little bit of me filling the turnovers before I pop them in the oven. All right, so I am just caramelizing the apples now. It smells so good. It's got like the cinnamon, brown sugar, a little bit of salt. So, so good, I love this smell. All right, I've got the puff pastry rolled out. I've got my mom on FaceTime, but she doesn't want me to show her, so just say hi, mom. Hi. <laughs> she's guiding me through it um it's nighttime so she's in her pj so she's like don't put me on the vlog now i just have um the egg and a tablespoon of water i'm gonna beat that and then i'm going to make little squares little pockets with the apples um and the egg so i can't film this while i do this so i'm just gonna lay it down and do a little time lapse for you guys so you can see me filling in these little babies Faces okay i am so sleepy i was up at like six o'clock in the morning today i have no clue why no clue i have no clue why <laughs> i cannot speak i have had like major cases of the giggles like you know when you're so tired just start laughing over nothing um but it's like I feel like a grandma because it's not even nine o'clock yet and I am this tired, but the apple turnovers are gonna be done in like 10 minutes. So I'm making it to the home stretch. I'm gonna take them out. I don't, I'm so tired. I don't even think I'm gonna even eat one right now, but I know Neil will enjoy it and then I will have one for breakfast tomorrow, but they are almost out. My mama just like guided me through it, which was funny and nice to, to like have her tell me like if I was doing something wrong or whatever. Um, we had a little FaceTime baking session and when I pull those out, I'm definitely gonna go to bed. But fun fact about this shirt, I designed it. Um, but we never released it. So I have a shop called for such a time shop and we do sell like some faith-based apparel on there as well um, And this was one of the designs and I love it. I definitely want to like create something with the his um, logo um, or like the little embroidery here. I'm so tired right now. I'm not making sense um, But it was inspired by the person Isaiah that says you are mine um, And so anyways, I really love it people probably think like when I wear it out they're like his as if I'm like Neil's property like I'm his but really I'm like his well. I'm his too, but you know, I'm really his first you know, so anyways that is that for me. I'm gonna take off my makeup and take out those turnovers 
and turn myself into bed. See what I did there? I'm gonna tuck myself in like one of those little apple burritos and snooze off. All right, this is like my easy go-to like running errands look. So I usually just kind of like throw on a cute little baseball hat, plain white tee, my favorite Lululemon leggings, got my Converse sneakers here that I absolutely love. I've had these since like 2015 um, and I always bring my Yeti with me in the car gotta stay hydrated it's been super hot um, and got my big tote bag of course got my mask in here for when I'm going in to do any like grocery shopping or that kind of thing but um, I will include my like to know it page down below so I always upload every day of like new outfits that kind of thing and you guys can go and get the links um, and shop it underneath there so yeah just wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day making one of our favorite little stir fry noodles for dinner tonight it's super simple and you get so many good veggies in it so I had just shredded a bunch of colorful carrots look at this look at how colorful this whole bowl is i love to see that i found these like colored carrots um and the more colorful your plate is the healthier it is right um and then i also put in some zucchini there and it's nice because it's all gonna kind of like wrap around with the noodles so i like to kind of like peel them like this you can do how do it however you want um and then i do vermicelli noodles or rice noodles so these are the ones that i get um, any ones do they have like thinner ones I like a little bit of like the thicker ones because it just like grips better um, so I am gonna do this I also just I'll show you how I'm going to make the sauce that is also super healthy as well um, but I also on the side made some zucchini crisps so these are zucchini slices with a little bit of panko flour egg of course um, to get like the fried crispy um, you know texture and then I also put in some like parsley um, and it's fried with some like panko so I just fried those up just like a little treat on the side of course you got to dip with some ranch they're super yummy but because the rice noodles are a little bit lighter um, we like to add a protein so like chicken or something like that and then I have like these guys just to like kind of like snack on on the side and then it's super filling, but you get a lot of good veggie snuck in there and it's delicious. For the sauce, I have some frozen ginger right here. It's gonna melt right into the pot. Um, I recommend doing the sauce first and then putting your veggies down, but I just needed a bowl to throw everything in. So I'm just gonna throw it all together. I'm kind of cheating today. So ginger, I don't have garlic. I'm just kind of working with what I have in my fridge right now, uh, but garlic is great as well. I put some sesame oil in there. I do raw honey that adds a nice sweetness. And then I do coconut aminos, which is great. It's a nice, good um, soy free alternative. Um, and I'm adding more veggies. So I've got bell peppers, I've got mushrooms, I've got broccoli I wanna use up. So this is like a great, oh, and I also have like jalapeno that I want to top it with. So this is just like a great way to use what you have in your fridge, throw it all in, fry it up, add some over rice or the rice noodles and you have a really great dinner. All right, I chopped all the veggies. I added the mushrooms, pepper, some broccoli. I even put some salt, pepper. Um, I did some garlic salt because I didn't have real garlic to go in there um, and the frozen ginger. And then I'm gonna add all of our little fun sauces. You should also add some apple cider vinegar or rice vinegar. I don't have either one. So I might just do a little splash of regular vinegar just to kind of give it a little tang as well. Um, and so I have this now covered so that I can do the chicken and then I'm going to quickly do the veggies and then you add the chicken and the noodles. This just takes like a minute, like you just put this in hot water for a minute and they're cooked. And then you add everything to this. Oh, and it's so good. So I'm going to do the chicken now. That is my dog becoming demonic in the corner. <laughs> Sorry about that. So 
so I had to kind of pause my what I eat in a week vlogging because Neil actually got his wisdom teeth taken out um, so basically it's just been really boring like smoothies and bone broth over here but he's slowly being able to chew again and I just wanted to like make him some like light foods that are soft to chew um, so this is actually like a family recipe I don't know if anyone else has their eggs like this but um, growing up my parents would like slice the eggs like a boiled egg and then it's salt pepper uh, crushed red pepper flakes and then some vinegar trust me it tastes so good if you kind of like more savory food this is so yummy so Neil really loves it like this I'm actually just going to have my boiled eggs like this with a little bit of salt and yeah it's just a nice little light breakfast i think i'm gonna cut some avocado on the side too just to kind of keep me more full you can have like a nice piece of toast on the side um and then random but um you may have seen from my past videos i've been organizing a ton i also have more like fall decor out so i think by the time this video goes live my fall stuff has already gone live but i went and got these little um home edit uh, containers from Canadian Tire. They have them at the container store too. Um, I need to get more oatmeal, but this one is oatmeal. This one is my pumpkin spice uh, Cheerios. Um, just to kind of like, A, it just makes it like airtight and it like lasts longer, keeps your cereals and stuff more fresh, gets rid of like all the mismatched boxes. I need to go get labels for these. Um, but a good ch tip, just because sometimes I forget, like, I know it's oatmeal, it's not that hard, but I don't know, sometimes I just need, like, the instructions still. They recommend just, like, taping the instructions of things on the back, and then once it's full, you won't even, like, see it, like, you won't notice it. Right now, you can see through it, because it's, like, almost empty, but that's a good way, like, if you want to throw away the packaging, um, but and like put it in a nice box, but you don't remember like how to maybe like make something or you need the instructions, just tape it to the back of the little container. That's my little tip. That's my little, well, not my tip, it's the home edits tip, but I am just copying them. And um, these stack, so if you like have like taller, um, you know, shelves or uh, cupboards or whatever, you can stack these so you can do even more. You could do like chia seeds, uh, more cereals, you could do rice, all kinds of stuff in here, so. Yeah, just wanted to share that this morning. I wanted this ice ginger refresher, but I don't know if it's just a Starbucks US thing. We're in Canada and Neil was looking on the app because we just wanted to order on the app and then pick it up, but then it wasn't showing up. So I was like, can you go in and ask them if they can make it? Maybe it's on the menu, but sometimes when you ask them like off menu things, they'll do it for you. So this was the drink that I wanted to try. It's the ice golden ginger drink. And there is the gold, our golden ginger blend with turmeric essence shaken with flavors of pineapple and ginger, coconut milk and ice for delicious beverage to lift up your day. And that is so up my alley. Um, if you guys saw uh, my other, um, what I eat in a week, uh, we did a little ginger refresher of my friend's uh, recipe for that. And it, so good i just love ginger i love turmeric i love it iced i love it uh in like warm drinks um aroma i don't know if you guys have aroma in the u.s but we have a little cafe chain here called aroma and they do a ginger turmeric iced drink too and it's so yummy and refreshing especially like i don't know if you have an upset tummy or you want a deep blow or you just want to have something that's iced but not iced tea and you want something like refreshing and just gives you that zing love it love ginger shots i'm just a huge ginger fan so i hope that they can make this ginger drink if not i'll probably get the ice guava um but neil's gonna get the pumpkin spice foam if i have it i'm gonna be like too zinked up for the day but yeah so i am just waiting for him to get back and then we are gonna go and walk around all right jolly you got the pumpkin spice foam yeah the cold brew it's mm. so so good and it's nice and sweet at the top too Did they so. put like cinnamon on the top i think so oh. I th or no isn't that like pumpkin, pumpkin spice, spice? oh be, my gosh i don't know but it's really really good so if you're at starbucks get it this yeah. isn't a sponsored app this but. is the one yeah. this and i got an ice guava white tea mm -hmm. um they didn't have the ginger so i guess it's just like on the u.s side but cheers cheers Doing a quick and easy meal tonight. Oof, 
the steam. I can never film when I'm cooking because you guys will get all of the steam in your face, but this is a nice and easy chicken, broccoli, mushroom, Alfredo pasta. I'll tell you how easy it is, all right? So from Costco, I get these little Mediterranean chicken skewers. I'm gonna show you the box. Okay, sorry, I took it out of the box, so it's empty. But it comes like this, they're skewers. I love these just for like having them um, on salads, on the side, they're super quick. But I just popped it into this. I chopped up some broccoli. This is the sauce, it comes in a pack of three um, and it will last you a while. I like to add a little bit of like garlic powder, oregano, like fresh herbs to it and it really, really makes it taste yummy. Literally like one of those 15, 20 20 minute dinners, so fast to make. Uh, I like to heat up the chicken and the broccoli together in this um, little like wok that I have uh, with some olive oil and then I add a little bit of my spices over here. So I've got my um, pepper, I love my little Celtic sea salt and some garlic powder and then I just pop it on to that. I make the, you know, pasta in another um, little pot and then I combine the sauce, the pasta noodles, um, any kind of noodles that you want, um, the mushroom, the ch uh, you know chicken and broccoli all together and I kind of mix it up and I kind of cook it in a little bit just on low. I have it like off right now but it's just kind of like cooking and then I pop them in bowls and it's just like one of those nice comfort foods. So if you want like mac and cheese, skip the mac and cheese, go for something like this because you'll get some protein, you'll get some nice veggies in it. Um, and yes, of course there's cheese, but it's a little bit healthier. And there you have it, a nice, warm, cozy meal that doesn't take long. I mean, I'm doing this like on a Sunday afternoon where we're just kind of like lazy, but still want to eat something like filling and yummy. Um, and it doesn't take that very long at all. And I feel like everyone just wants comfort food and cozy, warm food right now as the weather starts getting cooler. So that's my quick, little, easy pasta night for you. All right, we're going on a little family walk in the trails. Yeah. Lou? We got Lou here. She loves it out here. Um, it's like perfect summer weather. Like we're having such a beautiful um, day today where it's like, it's not too hot, it's not too cold. Um, it's just like perfect temperature, like with what I'm wearing. Um, and, but you get like the fall foliage, like it's start, the colors are starting to change. So it's so gorgeous. This is like perfect early fall kind of days where you need to get all that time outside because soon it's gonna be winter. I mean, it's gonna get really, really cold in general. So it's just nice to like get out with the fam, get moving, get walking, and Lou loves it. She needs a lot of exercise, so. <laughs> that she does before she gets tired. <laughs> this is not a dog who tires easily. She's nope. still not tired. She's pulling too yeah. right now. She but wants to run. Also, can we just talk about your nice haircut? You got oh, a new haircut. Thank you. You're ready. Appreciate it. I was going short for you, fall. You and Lou got a haircut. I know. So you're both looking smooth. Father, daughter. <laughs> Love you guys.